In 1981, Hideo Kodama of Nagoya Municipal Industrial Research Institute published his account of a functional rapid prototyping system using photopolymers. Charles Hull invented stereolithography in 1984. Stereolithography creates 3D models using digital data. In 1992, 3D systems created the first stereolithographic apparatus or SLA machine which made it possible to fabricate complex parts layer by layer in a fraction of time. In the same year a startup company known as DTM produced the first selective laser sintering machine which shoots laser as a powder instead of a liquid. In 1999 the first 3D printed organ was implanted in a human. Scientists used printed synthetic scaffolds of a human bladder and then cut them with the cells of the human patients and it was implanted into the patient. In 2000, the democratization of manufacturing had started to capture the public's imagination. In 2005, Dr. Adrian Bowers' RepRap project launched an open source initiative to create a 3D printer that could basically be itself. In 2006, The first SLS machine became commercially available making the manufacturing of industrial parts easier. In 2008, people were able to create 3D projects that they desired. And as for now, 3D printing is being used for affordable housing, robotic arms and bone replacement. Here, you can see a small figure being built. This is actually a famous character Groot from the famous Marvel franchise. Usually, Detailed figures like this will take a lot of time to craft, but with the magic of 3D printing, it can be built in no time and without much effort. Why strings you see on the figure is actually structural support for the figure, so that it doesn't collapse while being built. Next, as mentioned in the slide before, this is the world's largest 3D printed board that was printed by the largest 3D printer. From this, we can see that no matter what the scale is, 3D printer can print anything without a limit and without failure. A high quality board can be built in a very short time. Mind you, the video is sped up so that the process of the board being built can be seen clearly. 3D printer can also be used to build dangerous items like a gun. The unlimited usage of 3D printer is like a double edge knife. It can be useful to us or it can also be used to harm us. As mind blowing as it is, 3D printing can also be used to build a statue of a person so identical to the person that it even becomes hard to differentiate which is real and which is not. Related to quality, consistency is another benefit of 3D printing. Traditional manufacturing processes can result in a percentage of batch of parts being defective or inconsistent in quality compared to the rest of the parts. In 3D printing, parts are printed in succession. Each successive individual part can be monitored, allowing errors to be caught in real time, thus reducing the overall numbers of failed parts and wasted materials while increasing the consistency of quality of the parts produced. One of the benefits of 3D printing is cost. For small production, 3D printing is the most cost-effective manufacturing process. Traditional prototyping methods require a large number of expensive machines, plus they require experienced machine operators and technicians to run them. 3D printing only requires uh, one or two machines and some uh, technicians to handle them and uh, usually does not require additional tooling. One of the many advantages of 3D printing is it is able to provide a more competitive advantage to many businesses. This is because the speed and lower cost of 3D printing makes product life cycles reduced. Businesses can improve and enhance a product, allowing them to deliver better products in shorter amounts of time. 3D printing allows the physical demonstration of a new product to customers and investors instead of leaving it to their imaginations. Therefore, reducing the risk of information being misunderstood or lost during communication. It also allows for cost-effective market testing, obtaining feedback from potential customers and investors on a tangible product. 
Traditional manufacturing method can result in a poor design, therefore poor prototypes. Imagine making a cake where all the ingredients were not mixed well, the cake would have problems like air bubble. The same can occur to the subtractive or injection method. The quality is not always assured. However, using the 3D printing it allows the step-by-step -step of the product, which guarantees the enhancement of the design and better quality product. One of the main benefits of 3D printing is risk reduction. Risk re reduction correlates with quality and consistency. This is because this is mainly because they mitigate the re risk when it comes to manufacturing something. So, how does consistency and quality relate with risk reduction? It's because when the product is consistent and the quality is high, companies can calculate how much it will cost when before they invest it into the product, into the final product, before it becomes a disaster, disastrous decision or not. Okay, you know, in terms of accessibility, uh, 3D printing systems is so much more accessible and can be used by a wide range of people compared to traditional manufacturing systems. And not only that, 3D printing setup costs much less compared to traditional manufacturing systems which involve quite an enormous sum of money. And last but not least, a 3D printing is almost completely automated, which means that it requires a little or no additional personnel to run and maintain the machine making it so much more accessible compared to other manu manufacturing systems. One of the risks of 3D printing is the exposure to ultra-fine particles, also known as UFPs. During the 3D printing process, a lot of UFPs can be exposed. Exposure to these UFPs can cause several health risks such as heart attacks, asthma, as well as strokes. To regulate 3D printing, so anyone, anywhere can download anything they want. In 2012, Defense Distributed, a company based in the United States, created a CD, CAD file, which is Computer Assisted Design, for a 3D printable gun. Soon after, the US Department of Homeland Security called for the file to be taken down but not before it had been downloaded by more than 100,000 people all around the world, people from Spain, Brazil, and anywhere in the world. So because of this, there are more opportunities for obtaining banned products with 3D printing. The other threat of 3D printing is copyright infringement. Computer-aided design or CAD files that infringe on patents and design rights are already beginning to show up on the internet. The piracy of digital design files will likely be widespread and difficult to police. Companies will need to insure themselves against this risk and find innovative ways to guard intellectual property. The future of 3D printing By using 3D printing, scrap metal is reduced. If not, it is completely eliminated. Additive manufacturing mimics the biological processes by creating objects layer by layer rather than producing a large item. Not only that, a lot of energy can be conserved in producing products. According to the study of the Metal Powder Industries Federation, by using a subtractive manufacturing, it required 17 steps to produce a track gear. Meanwhile, it only took 6 steps by using 3D printing. Therefore, using 3D printing is much more effective and efficient method, not to mention time saving as well. Next, the need for transporting products and materials can be reduced drastically. Heavy trucks are no longer required for transportation and resulting in the decrease in carbon emission from them. Thus, it will positively affect the carbon in the atmosphere. In conclusion, 3D printing brings a lot of advantages, making it one of the most promising technologies to almost all industries. When all of the advantages are taken into consideration, it is obvious that this will soon become a technology that will overtake the traditional methods. It is just a matter of time. With good use, 3D printing is undeniably a real prospect for businesses and has the potential to develop our market. Therefore, we should be aware of the potentials of this technology as the future is 3D printing.